Hi Facebook. Sorry we're getting a late start today, but if you can hear this background music, we've got some island music because we're trying to get into the mood, we're trying to set the mood right. Okay, I'm just going to wait for a few people to log on and then we're going to get started. Okay, I think we have enough people. <laughs> that was pretty fast. All right, so we are getting a late start today. Sorry about that, had a big important meeting to attend to, but um, today, this week is gonna be a little different. It's going to be, I guess, Easter themed. So I figure since it was Palm Sunday yesterday, why not do palm trees? So this is what we're painting today. What's up, Kirsten? Okay. So on a scale of I don't know how to art to expert, I would say this is intermediate, but don't feel discouraged because I'll show you every step of the way in how to do that. Okay, first thing, you're going to use a flat brush, okay? This is gonna be, um, you're gonna do a lot of flicks with this. What's up, Andy? And like I said, I always say it, these are my best friends. I love using uh, flat brushes. So when we, you're doing paintings that have anything to do with precision, these are your best friends. So uh, as far as the colors go, you're gonna use green, you're gonna use yellow, and you're gonna use some black and a little bit of white. So with this one, I am just going to be doing a lot of dipping. So dip in the green, dip in the yellow, um, and it shouldn't be too hard. So once again, this is what we're doing. Palm Sunday was yesterday. Um, if you celebrate Palm Sunday, you probably got your little palm leaf in the mail. If you go to Catholic church, I don't really know how to do the crosses anymore. All right, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with the flat brush. Hey, John. Thanks for joining. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the black. I'm going to start off uh, with the shadows first. So I'm gonna do two palm trees, okay? So dip in the black, not too much, just a little bit like that. And then I'm going to brush a little bit off. Okay? Not, doesn't, it's not gonna be anything too crazy, just, okay, just that. And then just go over it. So I had already, you saw I already pre-painted this. Um, you can do a blue, green, you can really do whatever color you want. Okay, and I'm just gonna dip a little bit again. Okay, second line. It's gonna be on the other side of the canvas. Okay. Now I'm gonna thicken this up a little bit so it's gonna get thick right here. Make sure when you're painting with acrylic, you have a tarp underneath so you don't spill paint like I did today. Bad idea, but it's okay, I got it out. You hear this reggae music? We're kind of, we're setting the tone today. Okay. And then I'm going to do the little, um, not branches, I don't know what you call them. What's up, Noah? Okay. So we're gonna do one line. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna go over it in a little bit. Okay. It's gonna branch, so when you see a palm tree, you'll notice that some of the leaves, they kinda hang down. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? A lot of, uh, curves, I guess you could say. Okay. All right. I'm going to go up like that. I know it's not perfect, but we will go over it. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the second tree right here. Oh, and I didn't say, I do use a little bit of brown too.
Hey Blanco, could you monitor the comments? Thank you. It's a little muggy outside, so this kind of sets the mood. I really wanted to go to Hawaii in June, but those, those plans have been postponed. I do have family in the area. That's okay. Feel like home today. Yes, I know, Robert. Um, it's been a while since I painted, but we're getting, we're getting back into it. Okay, now I'm gonna use my flat brush, and then I'm gonna s just slightly, slightly dip the black in, okay? So in order to do these leaves, all you're really doing is flicking. You're doing a lot of flicking. And you know how, like I said, the leaves kind of hang downward? You're gonna go like this. See how I'm doing that? Just really, really quick. Because you don't want to kind of, you don't want to go like, you know, just flick it. Flick your wrist. And if you notice, oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Okay, keep flicking. Seriously, don't feel discouraged on doing this. It's, it's not that, it's not that bad. It's like, it's like flick. Okay. The reason why we're starting out black is because this is going to be uh, your shadows that are going to be cast. Okay. Keep adding more leaves if you want. Go crazy. And then when you get to the end, the leaves are going to be kind of pointy. Okay. Like that. So just keep continuing that trend. reason why you're making these lines is because they really act as a guide. See, flick at the wrist. And then when you get to the top branches, just flip them up. seen the new Facebook layout they're coming out with this new layout it's probably gonna roll out like for sure in like a month and I tested I tested it out it's not too bad but I just hate like learning the new way of uploading stuff you know okay so since this branch is pointing upwards I'm gonna flick it up not down flick it up like outward oh no problem this is fun I like doing this I think I'm gonna add more here. But for this part, I'm making sure that the leaves kind of go like this. Okay. All right, so now let's do the other tree. Flick down. Okay. 
This music wants me. I want to. I want to feel like I'm on the beach right now. I do have the balcony door open, so it does getting that cool breeze, that cool tropical West Texas breeze. Remember, it's all in the flick of the wrist. And if y'all try them, oh, auction them off? That's a great idea. I never thought about that. Thanks, Omega. Yeah, if you guys try these, um, let me know, and then we'll air it on the Sunrise Show, because we like to show them off. Not mine, yours. start to notice it needs more paint just kind of dip a little bit okay. I actually used to sell a lot of my artwork before I don't do it anymore but that was when I was a struggling college student There's an empty gap right here, so I'm gonna go down here. Start adding more leaves. overlaps the other tree don't worry about it just keep going So once you have that done, you're gonna use some of the brown. So I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna wet it and dry it off. This is my water cup. It's a Dairy Queen cup, reduce reuse. Okay. Then use a little paper towel. Make sure there's no excess and there's still a little bit more black so I'm gonna wipe that off some more. And I've said this before, if you want to speed up the process, the drying process, you use a blow dryer. So I'll show you. Okay, so yeah, this will, you'll notice that it is dry because when it starts to look uh, less wet and it's not that glossy, that's when it's ready. That is if it is a matte, matte paint, okay. Now the next part, this is gonna be a little different than what I usually do. So I'm gonna get some of that green and then I'm going to wipe it on the palette. Okay, just a little bit. But I'm also gonna use some of the black too, just a tiny bit, just so I can get this dark green right here, okay? And once I get that, I'm gonna go over the leaves Keep 
dipping. So it doesn't have to cover the black. Remember that these are just leaves. If you look at an actual palm tree, there will be some shadows on the bottom because once the sun hits the top leaves, they will be brighter. I'm just going to keep going until I get all the leaves. Remember just to flick, flick out like this. They're asking for blue bonnets again. Blue bonnets, yes. We can totally do blue bonnets. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe either next week or something? We'll see. And so I want this tree to overlap that one, so I'm gonna start on these leaves first. We can do totally do blue bonnets. Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe even doing them in like a finger painting style. So if you don't have brushes, you can use your fingers. And I'm thinking maybe a few times a week I'll do like kids edition ones, meaning like they're really easy. Any kid can do it. Okay.
Now for this part, I'm still gonna use the same brush. So I'm not gonna actually wash it off because I'm still using green. But this time I am going to use a lighter. This is not tropical music, <laughs> but okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of the white. Once I find it. I can't find the white. Okay, whatever. Okay, so essentially, actually, is there a white over there? There is a white over here. Okay, so for this part, you want to use some of your yellow too. So I'm going to use some of my white. Okay, then using the green, dip in slightly, slightly dip in the green. Brush it off and then dip some in the yellow. It's gonna give you this lime green color that you typically see. Okay, then a little bit of the white. Okay. Then once that's, you see that? I'm gonna use that. Okay, here we go. So this is gonna give you that highlight. So when you see on here, We're just gonna go over that dark green that we did, okay? Thank you. So you just want to do it on the actual leaves, okay? And especially when the sun hits, you want to get those areas. tilt this just because personal preference. There we go. Now we're back to the real music. Okay. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. You want to keep going. Oh, and if you want to add coconuts, you can. So using that same lime green color, you're just gonna dip it. And then just add two little circles. Okay. Okay. 
What's up, Trevor? It's been a while since I've seen Mr. Trevor Tankersley in the house. Trevor Tankersley? Inside joke. Hashtag Trevor Tankersley. <laughs> okay. So once you do that, you're gonna do this tree now. Just kind of go over it. Same concept. So if you need more, just keep dipping in the yellow, okay? And a little bit of the white. Should I add coconuts? I think I'll add coconuts here too. And if you still need to, use the hair dryer if you want. And then don't feel afraid to get some of the ends too. What is happening with this playlist? <laughs> this is this is not island music. <laughs> DJ, please change this. I know, like, is this a country island? What is this? <laughs> Rooks and Dom Song. Um, oh, here we go. It's the same song. Oh, it's the same song. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting for the drop, y'all. Um, over and just add a few more branches, just very lightly. I think I'm gonna use a little more of the white since it's lighter. And then my technique is I just keep going back and forth. Okay, the next thing, so I'm gonna wash my brush off. We're almost done, almost, almost. I'm gonna go over the tree. So once you get your brush dry, paper towels are my best friend, or you could use like a little rag if you have one. Okay. 
So I'm gonna dip in some of the brown and then I'm gonna go over the tree stump. Right here on this edge. And I'm just gonna do light strokes, light. Doesn't have to be perfect, just keep, you know, swiping. Swiping. <laughs> Flick it! Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Thank you, Omega, I appreciate it. And if you want to add a little bit of the brown on the palm trees, you can do that too. Or for the kids, if they're trying this, they can just add like a light brown line just right down here, just to simplify it. So I think I'm gonna go over it a little bit on the little coconuts. too crazy. I'm actually gonna make that brown a little darker. And I'm just slightly tapping, just slightly. You don't have to do this, I only do this because I'm being a perfectionist, but... A darker brush stroke. Hey Liz, thank you so much. You should try it. Okay. So we're almost there. Almost there. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of the white. A little bit and then I'm gonna mix that with some of the brown and some yellow so what I'm gonna do what this is gonna do is add a little bit of that highlight to the tree trunk so that part where you added that brown right here we're just gonna go over that and highlight it yeah, Violet and I have 69 mutual friends. Nice. Violet just joined the chat room. Violet's our boss. Okay. A little bit. Kind of see it. Now we're going to go back in here and add some of that highlight. Ta-da! Here you have it! Your own little palm tree for Palm Sunday. And stay tuned later on this week, we'll have more Easter stuff and some fun stuff to do with the kids. So like I said earlier, um, if you have varnish or if you have Mod Podge, you can put Mod Podge on here and that's gonna make it shiny. So you can hang this in your bathroom or wherever you wanna hang it. Wherever you wanna be tropical. But anyway, that's all the time we have right now. I think it would be awesome if you did some for the little kids. I have a two and a half year old trying. Yeah, we can do some, um, I'm planning on doing some Easter egg themed 
stuff this week, so stay tuned for that. Uh, you can find these canvases in the your local craft store. You can find some in Dollar General. And uh, they also sell paintbrushes there too, so not that bad. Anyway, stay tuned. Tomorrow, remember, this week is going to be Easter themed. Okay, so we had Palm Sunday and um, Easter coming up soon. So hope you all have a wonderful Monday. Bye.